All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to do it, find a battery draw. It's called a parasitic draw. So uh, I bought this at O'Reilly's. It's like worth $22. Um, and uh, I'm gonna pull it out, I'll show you what it looks like and go more in depth. And I got two jumper wires and you got, I got, this is gonna be the car we're using. It's gonna be a 2004 Toyota Tacoma. This is an example car. We're gonna assimilate a draw and I'll show you how to find a draw and we'll go from there. I'm just gonna get this ready, we'll pull out a package. Now I'll go more into the meter and we'll simulate a draw. I'll show you how to do, a, a, to find a parasitic draw, a battery draw overnight when it draws on your car. So uh, let me get the meter all set up and we'll get going. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to talk about the meter. Um, if you're just checking regular voltage, you're going to have it right here. You have the common, you get, the ground's going to go, the ground wires, the black one's going to go on the ground, common. And uh, we got the voltage, ohms, and milliamps goes in this section. Which we're not taking milli, milliamps, we're going to be, we need it over 10 million, 10 amp DC. You can see there's a different plug. So max is, uh, max is 10, 10 amps and unfused. So, you don't want to go over 10 amps. Some of these have fuses in them, but this one says it's unfused, so I, you probably would maybe damage it and it won't work anymore. So you can see it. Okay, we're gonna put this one into this hole, which is the 10 amp one. All right. So a traditional light bulb, like a headlamp, is probably about one amp and two. I, I think two. We'll, we'll I'll test and I'll show you the difference. Probably about two amps. So you don't want to start your car with this in, on here because it'll blow that easily because your starter probably goes probably i don't know like 200 amps so uh two, 100 to 200 amps so or i think i'm doing more of a truck battery but a uh, starter but so that would blow that in a second so um we are going to show you how to so we're gonna do this is the whole thing is called a parasitic draw and we're looking for a draw in the battery so the symptoms are if you set your car overnight and you can't start it because start it and you think your battery is bad and then you replace it and, and they said the battery is still good and you replace it anyways or you let it, let it sit over a weekend and the and it and it, it won't crank there's a little bit of power but it won't crank so you're looking for a battery draw or it's called a parasitic draw or battery draw so we're going to show you how to f use to set it up and how to find it using a meter as i told you before we're going to set it at, at the 10 amp dc and we're going to put the red here and here and we've got to d disconnect the negative the negative post on the battery. As we disconnect the negative of the battery cable, we need to put the meter in line. So basically, the current runs through uh, the amps run through the meter and back to the negative of the of the battery. It that actually is like a, a jumper itself, but the, it measures the amps. Um, through the meter to tell you what leaves the battery. So whatever leaves the battery returns to the battery amp wise. So let's get to it. All right, guys, we're gonna first we're gonna disconnect the negative post. I got my uh, my bro over here. He's my assistant, so I could talk about it and kind of explain to him because he's never done it either. So I put a towel over it just to block it from because we're gonna have a. We don't want them shorting out because we're gonna have the positive hanging over here. So that's what I usually use the towel. All right, now we. Uh, all right, so I got two sets of jumper wires. Jump, I call them jumper. I use them for all kinds of diagnostics. Uh, you can buy these at Harbor Freight, Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and for this tool over here too. So here you go. So first we're gonna take. Uh, I can. First we're gonna set. This is a. Uh, uh, so we got to set this to right. So we're gonna do again 10 amp DC, and we're gonna set the meter to 10 amp. 10 amps so so we're taking there we're, we're connected this one to this connected to the, to the negative right here connected there so to make sure no, nothing's touching metal and then you, you want to connect this part right there we'll lay it right here connect to the other one the other jumper cable and now we're going to go to the battery all right we're back guys we figured out a method with it um i usually have bigger clamps but I don't have them here so we can, uh, we'll go back over it and see I got this got the 
the red wire connector connected to to the jumper wire here and it goes right to the neg negative cable and now we're going to use this the black wire uh, ground wire common wire right here and we're going to jump it in. i have it right here on uh, with the uh, vice grips connected to the post and it's metal so it's gonna, it should be just fine and we're going to connect the wire right here so as you see <laughs> so now we got it connected all right so as you see we got we got something going on here it's probably just a little bit of computer memory a little draw for the computer on the milli it's probably like two milliamps right there that's the your ecm your ecm always draws from your uh to for the memory and maybe your battery but i mean your computer radio but this is usually your computer ecm computer um because it if you let this car sit for about a month it would eventually drain because you always have a little bit of draw all right now i'm gonna have my assistant <laughs> open the car door and we're gonna look at it and see how him open the car door oh look at that we got a little bit of a draw so with that right there is about a half a volt half an amp so that right there would definitely kill your battery over time like about a day and a half so now now i'm gonna have you turn on the headlights can you just do the park and not just like that all of them so. just do one set okay that's good so that's just the headlights because he pulled turn on them all so that was a that's like that was almost went over it could have popped so now we got that's just the that's just the park lights so you got the park lights you got these ones these ones over here and you got the tail lights too probably and that is drawing 3.49 uh, amps so that's see, it's, it's showing you what it's drawing so this right here would would definitely kill your battery overnight it's just like basically your lights being on overnight so there's things in your car that will draw that will that can cause a draw but i'm just showing you how to find the draw so what you do is you find your fuse compartment in your car and this particular model it has it right here so we'll take this off we got to make sure this is not in the way and uh see for instance we got we got the we got the headlights or the running park lights so we can find that one turns with tail lights so do 10. so we're going to do 10 and we'll, and that's how you would find you can each you we individually move these circuits and then you can find, and when that drops off you know what circuit you have a draw on so we have this little tool right here little fuse dilly deal and we're gonna pull this pull that up and see the flush of that so we're gonna try we got the tile lights on I'm just gonna show you kind of the basic method of how to do this so that's so we got to we're gonna do this one right here that's the tail lights and see um, so now let's do the park lamps so we got the still see so now I'll shut the door because he has the door open we found some of the draw. See, it dropped off. See, now it's like 10, 10 milliohms. So that's not a big, very big draw. So that's your computer and UCM. So we're gonna put that one back. See it pop up. So the tail lights was so that circuit was the draw. Um, I'm just showing you a base model of that was the tail lights, and we have them on. So that's the one way. So you would go through all this chart. If you didn't know where it was drawn from, you just start going down the line, and then you can figure a pinpoint where your draw is. Another big indicator of a of a draw is right here. It says an alternator. An alternator would still work, but it it's a big culprit of a draw, and they do pretty big draws. It would draw like three to four amps. So your alternator is a good um, thing. That, a, a, a good ref reference point to check for a draw. All you would do, uh, you could do, take it from here, but uh, you want to just fair, make sure definitely you would just go to your alternator and alternate down here and you would pull that wire off, right? The main the main power wire, the big one, and you'd pull pull it. I would just connect all of it. So you pull this off and pull the back, back plug off. And then if after you've 
if that drops it out, then you would know that your alternator is going bad. I think it's something to do with the diodes. So that's how you check a, a, batter, a car battery draw or trucks or anything else. This is how you find a draw. You can see we have a draw. And you go ahead and turn the lights off. See, we turn the lights off and the draw off. And open the door. This is just your dome light. So, so you have a little dome light up there. We open the door. See, the dome light draws a half an amp. It doesn't draw that much. But that would, over time, maybe... A, it hasn't gone out yet. That's why. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why it still hangs around until it has like a timer, yeah. delay timer on it. So that dome light would um, draw overnight, but you could have like a glove box. You can have all kinds of things that can draw. But this is just a good tool to pinpoint where your draw is coming from, like the, the steps that I showed you. And that's all I got to say. Um, thanks for thanks for watching. Any comments? Like, subscribe, and have a good day. Later.